Hacking the American dream, all right? Intelligence is overrated. Uh, intelligence will give you two things. It'll help you understand what you need to learn or do, and it'll help you learn or do those things faster than someone who isn't intelligent. That's pretty much it, okay? Because uh, I know a lot of intelligent people who are not very successful. And <laughs> that all has to come down to my thesis of this video, which is hard work beats intelligence every time. Perseverance and grit and energy levels through the roof, that beats intelligence every single time. It's, it's not even close, okay? You can be the smartest person in the room and absolutely useless to everyone in that room because you don't have the skills or abilities that are needed by them to solve whatever problems they're facing, okay? Meanwhile, the person who does have the skills and the abilities to solve those problems is going to make all the money solving those problems while you're sitting there whining that a dumb person is making more money than you, okay? This has been an issue for every single person with intelligence who wants to get ahead in life and they don't understand why, like, why they're useless. <laughs> You don't get it. You're, it's not about your brains. It's not about your thinky thinky bits. It's about you putting in extra time to grow a skill set and then apply that to the problems that people are facing. And like I said at the beginning, figuring out what those problems are. Yes, that will take intelligence or luck or life experience to just go, oh, hey, this is an issue people are running into. Oh, hey, I might be able to fix it. And then you go fix it and people throw money at you. It's amazing. Uh, but what's actually needed to get to that point is just putting in a little bit of extra time every day to get to that point. So you get off work, you go home, you spend 20 minutes reading a plumbing book. I don't know what the thing is exactly that you're supposed to be doing, but that is the, the process by which you're going to get there is just a little bit of time in the evenings growing that skill and making that plan to apply the skill in a business model to help others to solve their problems. Sometimes it's not studying at night. Sometimes it's finding an apprenticeship. Sometimes, hey, good luck on that, by the way. Uh, and <laughs> the reason I'm, I'm so lively about this is because it's such a trap for my intelligent friends that they, they don't understand why they're not making more money or why they can't seem to upgrade their life or why they're not paid more or whatever. Because it has nothing to do with their thinky thinky bits. It has all to do with the value they're providing others, whether it's an employer or a client, right? And you're working for yourself. That's it. That's it. And so getting to a place where you can actually apply any skills that you have to help others that's what you need to do. That's how you get ahead. Hacking the American dream is take what you can do and apply it to help people. It sounds overly simplistic because it is overly simplistic. And the smarter you are, the more ridiculous it's going to sound. And that's, that's the whole trap you fall into. It's like, oh, it can't be that simple. It is that simple. It really is that simple. It really is. And you can get into all kinds of cliche things like start a vending machine business. It's like, yeah, you're helping people get Snickers. <laughs> people want food. And it's, it's that simple. So don't, don't fall into that trap of like, I'm so smart and dumb people are making more money than me. And I'm frustrated by that. I can't believe this, this silly person is getting paid millions and I'm over here working for $30,000 a year and I can't seem to figure it out. If I'm so smart, why can't I think myself out of poverty? And it's like, dude, 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 you're just, you're spinning your wheels in the sand right now. Take a deep breath and realize it has nothing to do with your brains. It has all to do with how you can serve others, okay? And trust me, I know how completely ridiculous that sounds or how cliche or, just stupid that comes across as because you're like yeah I know I get it I have to help others yeah and, but that's all it is can you fix their car when it's broken like can you fix their plumbing when their toilet's leaking can you paint a wall 
when someone wants their house painted. It it really just comes down to that. And depending on, on whatever it is you choose to focus on, can you scale that thing to make money out of it? It's a good question. And then the thinky thinky bits could come in handy because you have to figure out how to scale it. Hey, there you go. So they sit down with yourself and figure out like what is it you can do? What is it you have to do to hack your American dream? To make it lucrative for you? To get ahead and try try to not overcomplicate it because it really doesn't have to be complicated at all. I hope this video had a little bit of value for you, even if it was incredibly vague. Good luck. Talk to you later.